Hi guys, it's just me. I thought I would share a little something with you. Um, remember the really long paper I was writing? Um, I thought I would share uh, some of the paper with you. Um, I was talking to my sister the other day about what I was writing about and how my vision of what I want for my business kind of plays into that and how it talks about nutrition and exercise and putting that and psychotherapy into play and how <clears throat> those play a big part of your mental health. Sorry, I have horns, so just go with me on this. About to work out here in a minute. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you all about how um, normally in society our, our BMI, a healthy BMI, is considered between 18.5 and 20 or something. 18 point, hang on. Let's see, where's my little reference here? It's my paper, I got it open. 18.5 and 24.9. But um, doing my journal, journal researches and things like that, I found that, um, and apparently obese is considered 30 and above. Um, but the research in the journal showed that, uh, that were written that I found, showed that um, you can eat healthy um, and just stay moderately active and be more healthy, considered healthy, um, but not healthy considered to, you know, the BMI, what's healthy. Uh, you can still be obese and be more healthy than somebody at a healthy BMI. Uh, because in their studies it showed that 51% uh, of those obese persons that eat, ate nutritionally and exercised um, actually were better off than 25% of those people that were of normal size and didn't eat healthy and didn't exercise. They actually showed um, signs of cardiac metabolic, um, what is it called, clustering, which is basically heart problems. You're going to have heart problems no matter what. So my, what I found, what, I, what was really important for me is I wanted y'all to recognize that it doesn't matter about what your size is. Yeah, everybody wants to lose weight. But if you're healthy inside and you think, okay, I'm, I'm going to eat healthy, I'm going to do healthy, I'm going to be healthy, that's what really matters. Because you can extend your life and you can extend your happiness and all that stuff just, just by eating better. It just, I mean, studies have shown, and I have tons of that too, I'm trying to keep it shorter, is that studies show that it, it can prolong your life. Thinking positive, being positive, all those things. It's uh, proof in positive psychology, things like that. Um, there's a lot of stuff that, that covers that. What you eat matters. Um, how you think matters. Um, there's also this thing called eco-wellness, which also has a lot to do with being outdoors. If you've ever noticed somebody in the hospital for a very long time, when they go outside, they feel better. That there's a, um, it's a theory that's, that being connected to the outdoors and nature brings you back to happiness and, and it helps cure illness and things like that, which we all know that you get, you know, you feel happy being in the sun. You get depressed when you're not. Uh, things like that. So staying active is very, in, very important. But my point is, is that you don't focus on the weight. Focus on staying active and eating healthy because a lot of times you can be obese, considered what's obese, and and not be losing weight because no matter what you do, you're, you're going to have problems losing weight because that's just, there's something going on. Um, people that have, um, I'm losing my wording, that have the thyroid problems, things like that. Um, but as long as you're doing what should be healthy and continue to move forward, that's all that really matters. But if you think healthy, you will be healthy, if that, if that makes sense. Um, because, I mean, it just shows that thinking positively, you can always get more things done in that way. Because if y'all notice that we will always t have a tendency to make up more excuses for anything. We live in a world of excuses. That's just what we do. We make excuses for anything and everything. There are some days I make excuses. Like this week was horrible for me. Absolutely horrible for me. And the last couple of days my back's been bad. And I've been irritated at all kinds of things. 
and I haven't worked out in about three days. And I'm gonna work out today. I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I feel better afterwards. Um, I'll, I'll probably suffer a bit through it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, but those are those are things that I could easily have an excuse, but it, it's not good enough because it's not gonna get me further. Um, keeping a positive out, outlook on life is what's really important. So I just wanted to make sure that y'all understood that it shouldn't be about weight loss. It should be about staying positive and moving forward because as long as you're, you're doing that, then every other aspect of your life will be falling into place. I know that whenever I allow excuses to take over me, then um, everything else starts falling apart. And whenever I've started to think negative this week, uh, everything else seems to be falling apart and I can't have that anymore and as soon as I start thinking better it gets better if that makes any sense to you um, I am gonna post on my vision um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all read about my vision and what I want for my future if y'all are concerned or are interested at all about what I want for my business eventually and um, I'm going to share that with y'all. So I'm going to post it. If you want to read it, read it. If you don't, you don't. I think it's like three pages or uh, five pages, but don't get scared about it because it's like an opening page and abstract and references and all that crap you don't have to read. So um, feel free to read it if you want to. I am going to see what I can do about this back here and I'm going to get going. I hope you had a good day. Talk to you later. Let's get ready to start a new week, new month. And I'm going to get that um, next challenge started for y'all for fun. Okay.